Is your Dell XPS keyboard giving you trouble? Maybe your keys are sticking or the palm rest has seen better days? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the palm rest and keyboard assembly on your Dell XPS, step by step. Before we jump in, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. Let's get started. Safety first, power off your Dell XPS and unplug it from any power sources. Next, gather your tools. Phillips screwdriver 0, Phillips screwdriver 1, Torx T5 screwdriver, plastic scribe, and of course, your replacement palm rest and keyboard assembly. Make sure it's compatible with your model. Remove the base cover. Now flip your laptop over and let's get to work. You'll see eight Torx T5 screws securing the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Grab your Torx T5 screwdriver and start unscrewing. Once all the screws are out, take your plastic scribe tool and carefully pry off the base cover. This might take a little finesse, but don't rush it, let the tool do the work. Disconnect and remove the battery. With the cover off, it's time to disconnect the battery. This is a crucial step to prevent any electrical mishaps while we're working on the internals. Remove solid state drive 1 and 2. Remove the left and right fan. Start by removing the three screws securing the left fan to the system board and palm rest. Once the screws are out, disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Now, Carefully lift the left fan off the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Repeat the process for the right fan. Disconnect the antenna cables. Remove 
the input-output board. Remove the three screws that secure the input-output board to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Lift it off the palm rest. Remove the heat sink. In reverse sequential order, as shown by the numbers on the heat sink, remove the six screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. LB. Now, carefully lift the heat sink off the system board. Remove the system board. Disconnect the camera cable and the display cable. Now remove the screws that secure the system board to the palm rest. Next, disconnect the keyboard cable and the power button cable from the system board. Now carefully lift it away from the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Remove the old palm rest and keyboard assembly. Remove the left antenna. Once that's done, repeat the same process for the right antenna. Next, let's remove the display hinges. Begin by unscrewing the three screws that hold the left display hinge in place. Once the screws are out, repeat the same process on the right hinge. Now that the screws are removed, carefully lift both the left and right display hinges from the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Slide the palm rest assembly away from the display assembly. Install the new palm rest and keyboard assembly. Carefully slide the palm rest and keyboard assembly into beneath the display hinges. Make sure the screw holes on the palm rest align with those on both the left and right display hinges. Now, replace the three screws that secure the left display hinge to the palm rest assembly. Once that's done, repeat the process for the right display hinge. Install the right and left antenna. Place the right antenna into the slot on the palm rest assembly. Replace the four screws that secure it in place.
That's done, repeat the process for the left antenna. Route the antenna cable through the guides on the palm rest assembly to keep it in place. Install the system board. Start by connecting the keyboard cable to the daughter board. Next, align the screw holes on the system board with the corresponding holes on the palm rest assembly. Now connect the antenna cables to the wireless card and securely close the latch to lock them in place. Connect the left and right speaker to the system board. Now connect the keyboard cable and power button cable to their respective ports on the system board. Install the input-output board. Align the screw holes on the input-output board with the holes on the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Once aligned, replace the three screws to secure it in place. Reconnect the display and camera cables to the system board and secure the display cable bracket. Install the fans and the heat sink. Before the install, take a moment to clean out any dust from the fans and heat sink. This will help keep your system running smoothly and prevent overheating. Let's get those fans and heatsink back in place. Start by aligning the screw holes of the left fan with the corresponding holes on the system board. Once aligned, connect the fan cable to the system board. Next, secure the fan by tightening the screws. Now repeat the same process for the right fan. Align, connect the cable, and screw it in. Once the fans are back in place, install the heatsink. Don't forget to apply fresh thermal paste to ensure proper heat transfer. Now, carefully position the heat sink, aligning the screw holes, and secure it with the screws in the correct order. Install solid state drive 1 and 2. Let's install the solid state drives. Start by sliding solid state drive 1 into its designated slot. 
Once it's in place, position the thermal bracket over the SSD. Then secure it with the screw that holds both the bracket and the drive to the system board. If your laptop has a second drive, repeat the same process for solid state drive 2. Slide it into its slot, place the thermal bracket, and secure it with the screw. Install the battery. Now, let's reinstall the battery. Place it back into its slot, ensuring it's properly aligned. Once the battery is in place, secure it by replacing the screws. Just a heads up, the two screws at the top of the battery also hold the thermal brackets for the solid state drives in place on the system board, so make sure they're tightened properly. Install the back cover. To install the back cover, first align the screw holes on the base cover with those on the palm rest. Once aligned, snap the base cover securely into position. Then, use the eight torque screws to fasten the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Everything back in place, base cover secured, screws tightened, and the palm rest and keyboard assembly all set. Now power it on and run a quick test. That's it folks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more helpful repair tips.